Social activism is important, and I think it is, it is, um, it is a key thing that's come out of, you know, giving people a platform to voice um, agendas, um, whether uh, grounded in values or just absurd. Um, what it does is uh, people have a flow of following and have a bit of an influence and and um, and they leverage their social graph so uh, a lot of them will leverage it for good um, you know or have good intent um, but sometimes the good intent might be skewed because mm -hmm. it is not taking into account all the other different variables around um, you know the social economic context that you find yourself in and making responsible irrational statements um, and I think uh, a lot of a lot of times, a lot of instances, um, we know when it's done for good, you know, you have revolutions, you know, you have, you have things that happened like, you know, in, um, you know, across the continent, I think, you know, where, where there's a need for an, um, an, a real uprising because of, um, you know, the, 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 the conditions, the political, socioeconomic polit the conditions, the political climate, and, you know, and, and, and it becomes a voice for people to 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 uh, to to voice and, and and rally against one vision of the kind of environment that they've they, they live in and the change that they want to see happen within their environment and and I think it's revolutionary in that regard and I think it's warranted in that regard because you're talking to the the people who are who are informed you know I mean they they're well read they 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 know and see through the you know um, see through the red tape propaganda and all this other stuff that uh, you know institutions like governments are trying to impose you know within different um, different you know uh, geolocations. So um, my point of view is that you know besides the expression being being able to have the freedom of expression. You know, it is a powerful tool, uh, you know, in sparking revolutions. And those revolutions are sparked by uh, one thought that everyone uh, shares. And it's a powerful thought that is a rallying cry to, to, to bring about change. Mm. You know, and that's the power of some of the hashtags. You know, mm. I mean, we've had some in our country. And uh, they are, in a way, also pointing out some of the social ills that we choose to ignore. You know, um, as society, we ignore some of the social <coughs> ills, we ignore some of the injustices, and, you know, it brings it, brings it to the, you know, to the light, to say, hey, you can't, you can't ignore this any longer, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it, it, it's, it's at a point where it's, a, it's at a boiling point, you know, it's been festering, and then when it comes out, there's, it's ugly, you know. So social media gives us a platform to have that opportunity to get information in real time, and it can be detrimental to a situation or it can be uh, of good use like uh, this University of Pretoria strike that's happening and quite a lot of series of videos came out but the first video that came out in the morning highlighted how uh, these black people were being abused by the white kids from uh, Schindler's or whatever rugby team there and then the second video that came out showed a whole series of the continuation of the strike the third video that came out showed a different angle of the same situation, showing that the fight that started was started by the kids that were striking and actually fighting on the other side. So they needed a backup, called them, and everyone came through, and then it looked like a very big scramble. So, like that raw footage, raw data, that is like what people want to see. And unfortunately, our media is not doing it for us. Yeah. And social media, like, will always be our own journalists. Social media does that for everyone. That's why social media is as you know yeah. relevant and important. Uh, Twitter is that platform where it allows real-time journalism, mm -hmm. and also it sort of sparks a conversation from every aspect of how you want to look at it. You know, mm -hmm. because um, from your opinion, you know, you looked at the video, you analyzed it, and it's up to you to sort of say or support what is right or wrong or whatever, you know. That's the place where you sort of can be heard, you know. 
it's a, it's a place where you can be heard by every single person. Not, not even one journalist has given us a full story. Yeah. We're getting the full stories from yeah. uh, these videos, mm -hmm. these posts from just normal people. Because the journalists have an uh, agenda to have uh, a Exactly. Like, Try to sell. Sell. Really? What are you trying to sell? Exactly. It's either, because oh, I'll buy the newspaper tomorrow and I can guarantee to you guys, it's either going to have a racial connotation yes. to it. Because that's what sells. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not going to mention how the white boys and white girls that were yeah. trapped in the classroom because they were so afraid that they'll get killed by the mob and then you know girls were crying in there like oh no yeah. I hope they don't enter and the, the guys trying to defend themselves holding the door they won't mention those yeah. kind of things but social media will and social media is there to just you know tell us get, a story you get that real story the, the truth and it's up to you I also as I said earlier, you know, it depends on the individual. Before you get that paper, do the homework yourself, look and sort of come up with your own conclusion. I think it is just social media. Mm. You know, it is, it is not something that really can change government policy, can influence <coughs> you know, decision makers to make better decisions if, you know, they, if you're not embedded in those structures that will actually make change. Um, I don't think we have a dictatorship kind of government uh, environment that, you know, doesn't allow channels or opportunities for you to raise issues and those um, those kind of things, you know, we have the power of the vote to make you change at the voting polls, you know, real social media cannot pull a, pull a coup if you I, wanted to change yeah, government, I think if you wanted to, yeah. you know, um, it's, 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 I think we take, to, take for granted democracy, you know, mm. uh, democracy is, 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 democracy in our constitution and our laws and and all that you know um, we 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 fortunate as opposed to other countries I think we're asking too much of the powers of your media I think there is real issues in some real um, government government um, so like in such certain areas where there was an uprising and the uprising was led through social media, you know, that social media only facilitated the conversation for the people to actually go and march in the streets and um, have that cohesion. So it, it rallied people. But then the people went and, you know, made the change where it is powerful in that regard. Um, in South, African, in South Africa, in terms of the change, you know, I think it is brought about by you, want to, you wanting to be the change you want to see. As an individual, you know, if you aspire for a better South Africa, what is your contribution to that? When it comes to, you know, trying to change the country with social media, I don't think the, I think we are all, like a lot of people miss the whole concept of trying to change, uh, like the whole country. You don't change the systems, you don't change uh, those decision makers minds and stuff. You change the people. So it's like a behavioral change uh, exercise where you change the mindset of someone. But once we go on social media, someone else is also affected by that, right? And they add the opinion, it builds up as you mentioned builds up in a sense where it trains for three days, four days, up until media such as TV or newspapers support that and now it becomes a real issue for the government to deal with. So for me, I feel that it, it, it does have an influence. Whether it's going to change the cause, but for me it does have the influence for the person to just really sit down and think, okay, what are the next steps?